Hi, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like um, to show you how to integrate JAX-RS with bin validation um, in Java 7. So let's start this. I would like to create a very simple project called bin validation and I would like to use the Glassfish v4 and just um, use configure JAX-RS first, which, is, uh, which works as usual. I would like to have a class called the class JAX-RS configuration. Uh, almost. The name actually doesn't matter, so I won't fix the um, spelling right now. Resources is a, um, oh, let's do it, just JAX-RS con configuration. And it has to extend an application, but the application has to come from uh, JAX-RS. So now JAX-RS is configured. What we also need is a package. Yeah, XPV. So what we also need is uh, a resource class, and I call this messages resource, and it's going to be annotated with messages messages and I would like to introduce a method a method uh, which returns a message and we don't have the message yet so let's create this and this is going to be a, a regular class annotated with JAXB so I would like to rely on field for serialization and I would like um, to use the class for XML serialization or JSON serialization. So a single parameter called content should be sufficient. So two constructors and one to string. Where is the string? To string. Okay, looks nice. And of course, what we would like to have is we would like to return the message. New message. Duke 42. And, and I would like to save the message. With post. And display it on the server. So, um, got message. Plus message. So let's deploy the application and run our very first, te first test. Um, resources slash messages. Looks good. Copy that to our uh, terminal. So curl still works. What I'm more interested in in JSON. So let's try. JSON because it's easier to. Uh, I forgot accept. So now we got uh, JSON. So what you can also do, I can specify right now is the content type application JSON. And uh, yes, looks nice. Then I would like to use post. So minus minus x post and then the data is going the data is going to be content type and with some escape characters this is the first one this is this and this and the URI oh and the URI. And the URI was this one. So, no news are good news. Let's try this. Minus E. No content. Looks nice. Now let's validate this. So, Duke42 has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters. So, let's try to break this. So, how to validate a message? So, we can use bin validation. I would like to use the um, annotation called size with min equals one and max equals five because we had six. So let's start with two between 
2 and 5, and I will also have to use um, a notation coming from bin validation called valid. And what it means actually, it means that um, the structures runtime should validate the message. So let's retry this. So what we got back is bad requests, which is actually nice because our request is too long. So let's go back. It's too long. And this works. So this was a brief introduction to JaxRS, Java 7, and uh, bin validation. And see you at one of upcoming conferences, projects, or even uh, workshops at uh, Munich Airport called AirHex. And, um, or perhaps AirHex.io, the online version of the workshops. So thank you for watching.